Well, Theo, for anyone at home saying, it's city dock, there's always flooding there. There isn't always flooding like this, and you don't always see kayakers. This is one of two kayakers that are have been around here in what is city dock. The city of Annapolis has been inundated with water for the past 24 hours, city officials tell us. It is high tide right now. It's about 4-1. That is not one of the highest tides or the, the highest flooding levels that they've seen historically, but it is up to Randall Street here. If you look over here to Alex Haley Memorial Park, it's, uh, it's up to his shins. Mayor Gavin Buckley told us during Isabel, it came up to his neck. So that's what one thing they're keeping an eye on, but it's hit the traffic circle. All the businesses down here in the area are sandbags. They're closed up tight. And there's people kayaking here where cars generally are parked. So the thing that they are really worried about, though, isn't this high tide. It's the overnight high tides predicted at 1 a.m. to be 4, 8 to 5, 3. They're really worried about that. And Mayor Buckley's also worried about the high winds overnight with saturated ground. Here is his message to residents. Yeah, the severity of the winds is very concerning for us, so we're making sure uh, that we're warning people about that. We're asking people to uh, move uh, things that could float um, to high ground. We're asking them to clean their gutters out, make sure their downspouts are working. Anything that can uh, cause more water to gather around your property, please take care of those things. There is a city sandbagging operation, a self-service operation that the city of Annapolis has opened. It's at 932 Spa Road. It's from 12 to 5, so it just opened. They say they'll stay open until they run out of sandbags. It's self-service. You also must be an Annapolis resident. And we just spoke to the Anne Arundel County Executive. Of course, there's it's not just the 17 miles of water line in this city. There's a lot more. And Stuart Pittman, the county executive, told us he's really worried about Galesville. He said things are really bad there right now. Shady side, low-lying areas. And we asked for some other names, some other communities. And he said basically everywhere people have docks. He's also concerned power outages will increase. He said at last check there's 2409, 2409 power outages in Anne Arundel County. Live from Annapolis, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.